How we doing everybody and welcome back to another let's play this Blake We're playing the outer wilds and um, We're kind of left in a weird spot. Uh, we're either going to be going to one of two places. I picked the interloper um, We've had an Easter egg to go to the interloper interloper to go to the giant steep um, And I think the interloper is where we should go. So that's where we're gonna go again huge shout out and thank you to Johnny D and a unknown dwarven man who gives me helpful tips Hats off to you. If you play an elf one more time, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. And I think we need to go back to the cannon at some point, right? Because I, I just feel like we haven't done as much as we could do there. But for now, we're going to go to the interloper because that was one of the last Easter eggs that we had gotten, right? Was just going to the interloper and seeing what was going on there. I have two versions of OBS open right now. I'm very proud of myself. I finally figured out how to do that. Um, so let us please, I've bought a new cam link. I've bought, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all the cords. If, if this doesn't work, I'm going to replace all the cords. God help me. Oh boy, here we are. Ah, ah. Autopilot, you did not do very good. This reminds me of Armageddon. We're going to come up behind the rocket. You know, Wily e. Coyote. Let's look and observe for anywhere. I don't know if anybody knew what I was talking about there. Um, for anywhere to land. Doesn't really look like it, does it? I don't know if there's much here. It's very icy. We've done it! We're now on the interloper. Perfect. Well, this sounds crackly. A little space flower. I wonder what's so crackleums. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oops. I guess we really are exploring the interloper. Hmm. Did anybody else notice this? That that just changed? Anybody else notice that? Oh. I think I've made a discovery. Comets that get near to the sun melt. And also eject our ship into outer space. There it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, onward we'll go. Screw that place. I hope I don't get launched into space. That would be very unfortunate. is very pretty we're trying to go I have a nasty feeling I'm about to get launched in space don't get launched in space uh light 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 see this is a thing this is a thing right here What is this thing? Ooh, uh, no my recording. Clary, this is troublesome. It seems this comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Okay. Even if it did, we c uh, couldn't we someone call it back home to the gravity camera on the Ember Twin? Is this the ship that was stuck there? Yes, but the um, exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary, if you don't mind me waiting here with it. 
uh, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. So, Pi, that's the body inside of this. Because remember, I, I don't know if you guys remember, this was a while ago, on the Ember Twin, when we recalled this ship, I think, Pi was, or there was a Nomai body inside of it. That must be Pi. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Let's see, where are we along our path in orbit? Was that another supernova right there? Is that what we're seeing? Is that a supernova? Is that what we're seeing? Is all these little supernovas in the background? There's one, and there's one. And we're next! Unless we figure out how to stop our sun station, which I have no idea. I don't think I can eject to any of these planets either quickly, quickly enough, can I? Nope. All right, so restart. So apparently our ship does not stay on the comet. All right, so the comet really didn't seem to have much on it, or maybe it does later on in the cycle of things. Um, maybe we just need to go to Giant's Deep then. We'll try that. To Giant's Deep we go. Alright, and we're just going for it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the water. Here we go. Yum! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
can't wait to get Hornsfell and Gossin about this one. I guess brute force isn't the always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems that all that's left is the big one now, the Dark Bramble. Here I come. How did you do it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I go down? Nope, it won't let me through that, so... Okay. So nothing to worry about if you fall in the water. Well, ghost matter still hurts. Okay. So we didn't really learn anything new there, but we know Feldspar got to the core. How did he do it? How did he do it? Maybe we need to look at the ship log. Maybe that's what we need to do. All right, let's look at the ship log. Because I am a stumpy boyd. I am a stumpy bump. One other thing, though, that I did think about off of camera, though. Um, on the Dark Bramble, there was that core that was missing. And we know where another core is that we can get. That's something I've thought about. But anyway, let's look at the ship log. So we have all of these unanswered questions. Subsurface energy readings. So let's let's look at this. Let's look at the gravity cannon. Okay. Okay. A huge cylindrical structure that generates strong upward gravity field. I recall to know my shell from the interloper. Okay, so it was from the inner shell. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely cased in ice. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment uh, heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the sh uh, shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai... Oh, it was Clary? Oh. Stay behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. But how did they get below the interloper's surface? The shuttle's equipment heard strange readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice in the interloper summer, and they descended to investigate. Oh! Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're descending to investigate on the sunward side. There is a fissure. So there is a crack on the sunward side. But I wonder if it's too frozen over to get to. I really don't want my ship to fly away again, so let's try to land there. There. We've done it. Okay, so there's got to be a crack on the sudden word side. According to everything I know. Oh. Oh ho. Oh ho. -ho! Interesting. Are we going to get eaten? Well, there goes the gravity cannon. Does it freeze back over? Oh. 
Okay. Welp, here we are. Oh, that's ghost stuff. Okay, we're gonna go there last, if anything. Oxygen? Okay. What does this say? All right. Untranslated, no more recording. I'm receiving much more stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Okay. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you travel any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the readings. I understand. Be cautious, both of you. Okay. So do we have to, like, thread the needle? Okay. We're threading the needle. That was not threading the needle. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Something green and glowy down there. Green and glowy usually means things. Okay. Um. Uh. Patu. What is that? Okay. No. Ah. Uh, shit. Shit and piss. Shit and piss. All right. We're going back. We're going back. We know how to get in there. There's something in there we want. And my camera's working. Maybe it's just obs. I just need to use obs. We jump. Now, I noticed something when I was doing this. Like, watch, 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 watch. See that? See the cloudy stuff? I wonder if, because I remember the beginning of the game, cloudy stuff means not good. If I remember. See, cloudy stuff, not good. Cloudy stuff, not good. I think this is the one we went into. So let's confirm our theory. No cloudy stuff. You see that? Okay. Theory confirmed, I think. Well. We. So we jumped down there last time. Tons of cloudy stuff. Bad. That's where we came from. What's up there? Ooh, ha ha! I'm a smart boy, I'm the fucking smartest boy! Ooh, another way to go. Okay, so we wanna go off this way. And then we want to go... Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> oh! Up there, I think. 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> now, what would have happened if I gone down there? Well, no. Yeah, see? Cloudy stuff. That shit's bad. <gasps> A booty. A body. Okay. It's a no buy body. You folks see any cloudy stuff? I didn't see no cloudy stuff. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not quite there yet. We're not quite that brave. Okay, there's cloudy stuff off to the right. Must be poking pie. The ver spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the readings. No, rather the source of what's within the stone. I'm detecting some sort of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be at least ten times what we're seeing. At least. Pie. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us as far as I can tell. Direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever this matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's undertones of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitudes worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within the within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others, and maybe they can construct a shelter somehow. Now, Poke. What? is this terrible, terrible thing that we've discovered. The rabbit hole continues. Well, I don't know that we get out of here without dying. Yeah, I don't know that we get out of here without dying. But we have discovered the secret of the interloper, I think. Let's get back to the ship. Let's get back to the ship. Certainly going through this hole won't do anything bad. I'm glad I learned that because I forgot about how essentially dark, or not dark matter, ghost matter worked. I'm glad I remembered that because I, I completely forgot. I forgot that you could pick it up on a camera. And now I know. Okay, let's go see what the ship's log says. Let's go see what the ship's log says. Maybe the ship's log tells some more stuff like that. I have been ignoring the ship log and I shouldn't do that. Because that's how I figure out plot points and stuff like that is going to the ship blog and reading this stuff. We've done it! Ha ha! I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large rupture stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomai trace strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some of the form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of them no might stay behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rushed back to the surface to, to warn the rest of the Nomai. So, I wonder if we could make that expand somehow. Okay, so I think for now, 
that's going to do it for this episode. We've discovered what is going on and have finished the um, interloper. So from there, I think we really need to go back and look at some of these other systems here. i not sure what, but looks like Giant's Deep might be a good place to go. Yeah, so I think we're, we're going to go back to Giant's Deep and maybe the Orbital Probe Cannon next time. Any which way, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for anybody who has been interested in this. This was an incredibly interesting episode. I kiss you. I go bye.